well, I was going to try to do like a facing video, but uh, this, this will have to suffice, right? What I need is like headphones. The problem with that is my uh, phone isn't compatible with headphones. Like it technically is. It's the Google Pixel 6a. So you have to have like an adapter and all that shit. So I don't have any money. But uh, yeah. So I was at Dollar Tree just now and they were like, oh my god, fucking bitches, let me tell you, okay. So I walk up there and there's this white truck in the parking lot, I guess. Because when I walked inside, they were like, is that a white truck out there? And some other people were walking out and they're like, yeah, there's a white truck out here. And they're like, why is she just sitting there? And so I look to see, like, you know, does it look like she's, like, on drugs? Like, does it look suspicious? No, it looks like she's just, like, taking a break from driving and, like, on her phone. Because, you know, driving while on your phone is fucking dangerous. Now, I don't know if she was a customer before she, you know, was sitting on her phone. Or if she was intending to come inside and be a customer. I didn't see that part. To be honest, I really don't care. I feel like if someone needs a break from driving, like, why can they not stop for, like, five minutes without them calling the police, you know? So anyways, I'm walking around. I find some water, something to eat, you know? And, uh, I, I couldn't have been in there for more than ten minutes. You know, that's generous. And they had already called the police on her. They, they didn't go out and speak to her. They never, like did any of that they were just like oh because she's sitting in her car by the way bothering nobody we're gonna like claim that she's loitered even like i guarantee you she's probably a customer so like it really didn't make any sense but that's how it is here it's like that same little theme that i keep bringing up and mentioning over and over again it happens almost every day it's like almost an everyday occurrence but I don't know um, it's kind of like ironic because the city's kind of like a lot of hippies and stuff so you would think they would be like oh yeah like people existing without having to pay money of course it should be a thing but it's like the opposite and like it's even those type of people that are the ones that like will run you off you know after like literally five minutes like it'll be posted 15 minute parking You'll be there for five minutes, and they'll come out there and say you're loitering. Like, what? So, like in Memphis and stuff, you could just be like, hey, I've been driving for the last 16 hours. And they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, you know? But they would never even talk to you unless you were there for, like, hours and hours. And even at that, unless it was posted, no more than two-hour parking, like, nobody gave a fuck. You could be there for four hours if it said two hour parking most of the time. Unless there's like a high turnover rate and they're like, hey, it's, we're kind of competing for spots out here. Like, can you move? And typically they would send you to a different parking lot because they understand that like forcing someone to just continuously drive is dangerous. That's one of those things where it's like it doesn't directly affect the like Dollar Tree worker or the come and go worker or whatever. So they don't care. You know, they're like, oh, you're you know me doing this is going to actively risk lives like who cares who cares about the dot who cares about the laws who cares about like any of that shit get out of my parking lot you know like even just basic humanity that's all out the door i don't know they have an attitude problem here i've noticed where it's everything is very self-centered they they can't really see past their nose again it goes hand in hand with the whole like spatial awareness like, and, like, the driving and, like, just all of the bullshit that, oh, I'm in your lane. Well, unless you hit me, it really doesn't affect me, so I'm going to continue to be in your lane, you know, like. But, yeah, I'm not sure how to get out of here yet. It's taking way longer than it should have. And that's, you know, the mantra I keep saying. It's like, it's the chapter of mom. And then there's a lesson in all this where it's like... Something to do with patience? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I've always been 
It's more stubborn than, than I should be, I suppose. But yeah, this city brings you to your knees, man. It brings you to your knees. And, like, I've talked about all that. You know, I've talked about the whole, like, asking for a job is considered demanding. And they just recommend you live in a shelter over and over and over again. Like, and I'm, you know, my back's against the wall now. I'm literally out of money and I don't have any revenue coming in because all three streams got cut off simultaneously because they can't afford any of it. I mean, it really wouldn't have messed me up if they didn't like steal from me and all that stuff. But yeah, it's just petty, 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 petty. Tell you how petty it actually is. Somebody stole my food. Like, how are you gonna steal food from a homeless person? But that's that's the vibes. That's that's the culture here. Just a lot of petty patheticness. You know, I was talking about that one girl. She was like projecting on me and saying like. Why do you want somebody to do everything for you? That's the mentality here. They want somebody to do everything for them. I'll be talking to somebody, I've already said this, but like I'll just point out something that a concerned citizen could bring to the attention of the city hall and the problem could be resolved. And I'll bring it up to someone's attention and they're like, yeah, someone rich is gonna have to come in and buy it and fix it for us. I'm like, why can't you just take two hours to swing by City Hall or send somebody an email and get it taken care of. You know, like, why are you gonna be so fucking lazy? That's what it is, it's laziness. It's meth, is what it is. You know, meth is the drug of decay. And that's what the city is on. They're all on fucking meth. And not even like good meth, not like real meth. I'm talking like homemade, brain damaging bullshit, you know? And it shows. And it's sad, really sad. Because even the higher functioning people are like uneducated at the very least. There's no opportunity. It seems like the only colleges in this city are Christian schools. Like there's no opportunity to actually get any kind of real education. I mean, if you look at even just the basic education system of what they do have, they fall behind the nation so far. It's, it's almost comical how far they fall behind. If you look at it far enough back, once you get into the city itself, it's like, oh my god, this hurts. You know, like, it doesn't just hurt them, it hurts me too. And it hurts my wallet. <laughs> but, yeah, I went to, um, Red Racks. It's this, like, thrift store thing. And I applied, and I was, like, trying to tell them, like, I need employment as soon as possible, because that's one of those places that's, like, they have, in the past, given people jobs and paid them within the same day. And I was trying to express to them, like, this is kind of dire, like, I kind of need work immediately. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, we'll talk to our boss, and if she wants to call you, then you might get a call on Sunday. That's probably the soonest you'll hear from us. And then once we call you on Sunday, we can go from there. Which means, you know, they're gonna set up an appointment for me to come in to give me, I mean, to, for me to give them my ID. And then they can put me on the schedule. So we're looking at three weeks before I even get on the floor. And then I still have to wait for a paycheck. Like, of course it's not anything worth, you know, the pay is not worth anything, but I mean, I'm just trying to get immediate work, you know, like I need to buy things, like I'm running out of money. I got lucky. Today somebody sent me $20 and um, you know, obviously I'm very grateful for that and that's probably going to be the difference between me starving and surviving these next few weeks. A lot of these resource programs and stuff, it's a, a waiting game. Oh yeah, we can help you get food. Fill out this form and wait a few weeks. Oh yeah, we can help you get a job. Apply to this place. It'll take a few months. It's like, what, what even is the point then? Like, why would I wait three months for a job that's only going to pay me $14 an hour? You know, that's stupid. So, I just got to, you know, survive until July. And hopefully that whole thing works out. I mean, I'm putting a lot of weight on that one hope that these guys are 
actually going to do what they say they're going to do. And if they, you know, choose not to, then I don't know. There's really nowhere to go during the day. You know, like I said, like if you're anywhere for more than like three or four minutes, they're immediately, they're going to call the police. Like they don't even come talk to you half the time. They'll just straight up just call the police and then come tell you, oh yeah, by the way, we called the police. It's like... So, you know, with as, as challenging as it was with a car, I literally don't know what to do without. You know, I spent like three hours this morning at the gym. I guess I could go by libraries and stuff and hang out in parks. But other than that, man, like, you know, it's like, I keep thinking about, like, you know, if I had a way to cook food, I could spend, like, $2 on a bag of beans, and that would be, like, three days' worth of food. But I don't have a way to cook food, so I have to spend, like, a dollar per can of food. That's only, like, one serving, you know? And then it's like, I'm not going to carry around a gallon of water that costs a dollar because that's too heavy so I have to buy a smaller thing of water but it still costs a dollar so but that's how the system is right poor people are punished for being poor and rich people are rewarded it creates a more divide more division it creates more of a gap? Is that the words I'm looking for? Like the comedian in California who was like, well, it looks like I have two choices right now since I live in California. I can either become a billionaire or be homeless. And it's like, yeah, that's basically the state of almost the entire nation at this point. Like he said that like two or three years ago. And Missouri, yeah, like, you know, Missouri, Missouri, like, yeah, obviously, like, they've been, they're, they're very, like, um, you know, they're in love with their pain, you know, and it, and it shows, 